Tomato programming is quite simple and it involves three basic steps that are determining the total number of states and inputs for the given problem, then adding transition for each state, then finally set the final state. So let us solve an example for better understanding. Given L is a language which contains W, given that W starts with 1 and ends with 0. So here the inputs are 0 or 1 and the total number of states is equal to 4 and we name them Q0, Q1, Q2 and D. We will start our initial state as Q0 and add transition for Q0 for both the inputs that is 0 and 1. Given that W starts with 1, hence when 1 is input for the initial state, we will have transition from Q0 to Q1. If 0 is the input for initial state, we will have transition to D and the program stops there, since W should only start with 1, not 0. Next, we will add transition to Q1 for both the inputs. When the input is 0, Q1 will have transition to Q2 since W should end with 0 and we will set Q2 as the final state. If the input is 1, then we will return to Q1 itself. Now, we will add transition to Q2. If the input is 0, it will return Q2 itself since W ends with 0. And if the input is 1, we will return to Q1 since there can be any number of characters either 0 or 1 between start and end of the string. Finally, we will set the transition for D. Since program terminates at D, there are no possible transitions are there and hence uh, for any input transition will return D itself. This is the state transition chart for the given problem. For a given string input, if we arrive at the final state, we accept that string or else we reject it. So now let's code the same in Python.